But I say, walk. I love to walk. I can walk eight miles and just have the best time with the Holy Spirit. Now, God has never called me to run a marathon. And I pray God will never call me to run a marathon. I have no desire to run 26 miles. I've seen marathons. We were in New York last year for the marathon. And let me tell you, those are not happy people. A bunch of them stayed at the hotel with us. They were happy before the race. The race started at 7 o'clock in the morning. And some of them were getting back to the hotel at 7 o'clock that night. But I got me a shirt that said I ran the New York Marathon. And I say, why would you want to do that? I can just buy one of those right down the street. But you see... Walking is different than running. Walking is steady and it's progressive. You see, the Holy Spirit would rather have us walk than run. Because you see, you come to church and you get baptized with the Holy Spirit, you're speaking to Wow, yeah! And then after about, oh, God. You know, you got about 50 yards and you want to die. There's a loud. And then you say, Holy Spirit, I ain't never running again. And so guess what? You don't. But if you learn how to walk in the Spirit. You see, when I walk, I don't know why this happens like this. Sometimes I just can say, well, I think I'll just run. And I'll run for almost 50 yards. And I said, that's enough. I think I'm going back to walking. And after another couple of miles, I may run for... 20 feet. And I said, that doesn't feel like good. So then I get back to walking. You see, the Holy Spirit better have you walk steady with Him than being a shooting star once in a while. preachers in the history of the world. They passed through the territory of Phygia and Galatia. The Holy Spirit said, Paul and Silas, keep on walking. I don't want you to stop here, and I don't even want you to tell them about the gospel. Oh, steady with him and being a shooting star once in a while. Man, we would just go out to the nearest neighborhood and go door to door. I mean, how can God not want me to tell these people about the gospel? Because the Holy Spirit said, No! Nope. But then, they had come opposite Messiah, the and they tried to go into Bithynia. The Spirit of Jesus did not permit them. I know what, Clarence. Let's go down here to this subdivision. And the Holy Spirit said, No! Nope. I don't want you to preach the gospel here either. So passing by Messiah, they went down to Toaz. Then there was a vision. And when he had seen the vision, now we were confidently inferring that God had called us to proclaim the glad tidings, the gospel, to them. We went here in the flesh, and the Holy Spirit said, No, 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 don't, don't preach this. Okay. Come on, Thomas. Come on, Silas. No, 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 no. I forbid you to preach to these people. Well, now, God, is kind of, you know, it's going to get dark here pretty soon. We're wasting a day. I'm steady with him from being a shooting star once in a while. All of a sudden, they go to sleep, and Paul sees a vision. And the Holy Spirit says, let me show you a picture of where I want you to go and what I want you to do. You and I can live that way. Walk steady with him and being a shooting star once in a while.
walk steady with him and being a shooting star once in a while.